and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Victoria, back at it. And if you're new, hi, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about how I manage and stay motivated with my YouTube channel. And um, I just wanted to kind of talk about this because I think it's very important and it's something that um, maybe like people want to hear about. I don't know. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. And before we do that, if you're not already, go ahead and click the subscribe button, like the video, and follow me on all my social media platforms. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so for starters, um, when I when it comes to my YouTube channel, I love being very on top of everything. I love writing notes down. I like having like sticky notes or having a journal. Um, but right now, what I feel like has worked for me the most is having my handy dandy laptop. Um, yeah, the sticker says "Be a slut, do whatever you want." because we're all about that woman encouragement, empowerment. Um, but anyways, I basically have my laptop. I'm going to try to learn how to screen record it or just take a picture of it just so you guys can see. But basically on my laptop, I have a sticky note that says video upload, ske or video upload schedule. And basically I will write down the next two weeks as you can see in the picture. And I'll basically have the days that I post, which are Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. And I will make sure to write down the date next to it because I'm very like a visual person. And then usually when I look at this, I also pull up my calendar and um, I kind of just write down the videos that I want to post and then right below it sticky note I actually have um, a videos to film sticky note so those are just a list of ideas that I've thought of or have had in my mind and I that I want to um, film and typically when I finish filming them I will put like a star next to them until I post them just so I know kind of like on I'm on top of things and I know that I already posted it but Honestly, guys, I used to be a very, like, um, handwritten person, and I used to have, like, a calendar for it, but I do feel like having it on my laptop, because I'm already on it so much from editing and filming, that just having it there and seeing it helps so much. So, um, that's kind of all I really do when it comes to, like, um, how I plan my videos out, or, or like, when I'm going to post them. Um, so then if I go ahead and take you guys to my YouTube studio, um, you guys are going to see that I already have, I'll just include a screenshot right here because <laughs> that was really complicated, but you guys are going to already see that I have a video ready to go um, to post for Sunday because today is Today's Friday, but I posted yesterday already, and even before yesterday, I had two videos ready. Um, I've learned that having my videos ready to go, edited, thumbnails, descriptions, everything just makes my life so much easier, so that way all I really have to do is do everything on Instagram and like promote my own things, and to me, that's just not that hard. It takes maybe like 10 minutes to promote my stuff on Instagram when I have all the things ready already, so um, yeah, I always like to have two videos ready, or at least have one in one ready and then one in the works at least at the very most if I'm like busy or at the very least if I'm busy but yeah I used to never be like that I used to just like edit and then post like the next day or post the same day and then I would be like oh my god I still have to edit and then I wouldn't post so I've learned that being on top of your things and being consistent really does help and I know I like many of you if you're watching this I'm sure you have a YouTube channel and you want to learn some tips and tricks and I'm not even going to lie, I still don't have a big following and I don't have that many subscribers, but I do feel that posting consistently and posting content that I actually enjoy filming has helped me grow from what I was before. So I do think that consistency really is key because obviously with the YouTube algorithm, it does favor people who are very consistent and stay on top of their things and I just kind of made this, I guess we're going to move into motivation, but um, I kind of just like knew that I needed to be more serious about my YouTube channel if this if it was something that I really wanted to pursue and I think that's so important that you have to get through your head it's like if I really do want this I need to work hard for it so that's when I kind of like clicked into my head and I was like you know what from this day on like I'm gonna be filming I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and I just have been doing that like all the time I have also been trying to be very active on social media um, because I feel like that has a lot to do with it and it gets my followers to know me and maybe more interested into my channel so it's just something that I feel that has helped and I've gained so many more followers and friends in doing that. Another thing that I like to do um, that has to do more with Instagram instead of my YouTube is anytime that I film a YouTube video, even if it's like a makeup video or a vlog or I don't know, like a mukbang or something, I will always try to take a picture, like an actual like Instagram post worthy picture to post the day that I actually upload a video onto my channel because Obviously, I have more of a following on Instagram than I do on my YouTube, and whenever I post a picture on my Instagram, and then it in the description, it has something, or the caption, 
it has something about relating to my YouTube channel. It gets more people to want to go or gives them their attention. And then to also post onto your story. So your story can be anything from like your like YouTube channel, your a little snippet of your video. I do find like snippets help and they're actually cute because people like get to see a little bit of it and they're like, oh my god, I want to watch that. So I highly recommend being super active on social media. Make sure you're consistent and also just film things that you love to film. Don't film something because you need content. Just film it because you want to do it. And that's why I think it's really helpful to write down ideas because maybe one day you're not going to be in the mood to film something, but one day you are going to be in the mood to film that and it's going to be fun. So it's all about trial and error, but just for me, those are things that help me and work for me um but yeah I think you just have to keep in mind that it's gonna take work and you just have to be super consistent super motivated super disciplined in what you do because obviously you are working for yourself and even if this is like a fun thing you that you do on the side it's still something that you have to keep in mind that you have to be on top of um but yeah um that's basically all I have for this video I kind of just wanted to share with you guys the things that I do to keep my YouTube channel consistent, going, and kind of thriving in a way, and just motivational tips that I've told myself. Um, I hope this video helped. I know it's a very short video, but um, yeah, that's basically all I'm gonna, <laughs> all I have to say about it. But I just really feel like this technique helped me so much, and hopefully you guys can try it too. And yeah, that's basically all I have to talk about. Um, I hope this video helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. And like I said before, maybe you guys can click that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. And if you have any questions, if you need any help with anything, don't be scared to message me or leave a comment in the comment section. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.